A firefighter was killed and five others were injured in that collapse. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey is in Hunting Park, where colleagues are mourning the death of Lieutenant Sean Williamson. We are once again reminded of the heroism of our first responders that every day that they put on those uniforms and they head out to work. Now we are outside of Hunting Park Fire Station where a black drapery hangs in memory of fallen firefighter Lieutenant Sean Williamson. Now Williamson served in the Marines and served our community for 27 years as a dedicated firefighter. It was this dedication that was displayed early Saturday morning when fire crews responded at 2 a.m. to a three story fire at the 300 block of West Indiana Avenue. A family lived on the third floor and the first floor of the building was a pizza parlor. Now fire officials say they were able to get the fire under control within 15 minutes and evacuate the eight people who lived there. Lieutenant Sean Williamson along with five others including a LNI inspector went back inside the building to make sure there were no hidden fires. An hour later the building collapsed just before 3:30 a.m. Williamson died during the collapse. And Sunday, ATF and LNI were back at the scene combing through the rubble in hopes of finding the origin of the fire. Now, the fire department says these types of building collapse are common in Philadelphia, especially in older buildings. We don't let people go back inside for exactly this reason. Uh, buildings uh, after fires are obviously uh, have been structurally compromised. And given the age and the varied histories of many of our buildings here in the city of Philadelphia, Building collapses, it's something that we have become accustomed to here that is simply not something that happens in many other jurisdictions. We average seven to eight what we call working fires, severe working fires, every 24 hours. Uh, Lieutenant Williamson was one of our most experienced lieutenants. Williamson leaves behind his mother and son, and this week we are expected to hear details of a formal service. Meanwhile, this fire investigation continues as officials tell us that they are looking into the cause of the fire as well as the cause of the collapse. As we know more details, we'll be sure to pass them along to you. Reporting from Hunting Park, Wakisha Bailey, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.